There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Maybe Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Fallon Taylor will win. You grab the new horse out of our champion Flo. Just one of her babies for baby Flo. For low to the Flo. Flash money. Flash money. For the flash money. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. This is one of my most amazing friends, Tracy Jones. She is fitness guru extraordinaire on Instagram. So if you want to go check her out, her tag is right here. Tracy is amazing, and it's been going down in the group text. She is Miss P's mom. And so, like, you know, yeah, <laughs> Miss P is an amazing human, and um, we all, like, obviously Tracy model, you guys have seen Tracy model for us and do all the stuff and things. Today is, like, kind of me, Jesse, Cody, like, reminiscing down our first, like, like, beginner days of, like, yes. learning and getting to watch this happen all over again. It's, like, Disney for us. So, yes. thank you for letting us do Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Are you nervous? Yes. Okay. <laughs> nervous and excited. Probably okay. More nervous. Okay. So the reason that I'm going to take the training technique that I am with Tracy, this is not how I do it in horse bosses, but Tracy is an athlete and she works out seven days a week, six days a week, five days a week, you know, she, and hard. She goes really hard in the paint. I'm going to do a little of the like throwing in the fire. This is not the type of training that I would do with every single person of this like immersion, like just, we're going to jump off learning. the deep end. We're just going to go. Just going to go. So but like I said, it's really fun for me, Jesse, Cody to like check out and see because we all started somewhere. And for us to be able to kind of watch this happen again is really cool. It's really fun for all of us. So, um, yeah, let's get yeah, started. Let's so you're going to ride short kick today. Okay. Um, she's my photo shoot horse. She's your photo shoot horse. And she is just really tricky because she's like light gears yeah. and gets really short. She's very sensitive. Um, she's very ratey for those of you guys that know what that means. So... It's going to be a challenge, but it is going to be a really fun challenge. Okay. So you guys, um, I think the best advice here is that every single person starts somewhere. We all start from the beginning. It doesn't matter if you were, if, if my child comes out of the womb, he's still not going to be able to like, first of all, my child is going to come out of the womb. What did I say? If, <laughs> if, if he comes out of the he's womb. He's coming out. <laughs> when he comes he's out of the womb. When he comes out of the womb. <laughs> I it's feel like I'm going on, to happen. I'm on day 472 of being pregnant. So, oh yeah, you're <laughs> like, at that point. Right? I'm at that. I'm that many days pregnant. But when he comes out of the womb, he's not going to know any more than the next person just because I do this for you know what I do competitively. So, right. you're not set up any better than or any worse than yeah, anybody else. For sure. So you start where you start, no matter who you are. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's go get shortcake. Let's do it. There you go. That's pretty good. Perfect. Okay. I love it. And just walk around and you just on her, obviously you can see everything is that light. Yeah. That's what makes it very difficult. So on her, you want to be real direct and okay. then we'll get your barrel set up. This is such a fun day. Yeah. Good. Cool. Now just push a little bit with your legs. Do your legs feel long? I mean, cause you need to be like, kind of like a little bit squatted. I'm a little bit squatted. I mean, I can definitely stand up. Okay. What do you think? So at this level that we're going to push you to, okay. <laughs> standing up won't give you a good idea of how it feels. So okay. a ge that's a general like, okay, I'm going to go on a trail ride and stand up. Okay, that how's that feel? But in this, we're going to get like, I would assume this would be like your clubs when you're playing. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, that's a good general rule. But then beyond that, if you walk around and you feel like there's a little length that you're having to kind of reach that's down, not yeah, not we're going to, because the more stable you are right here because yeah. you are really strong. Uh -huh the um, easier it's going to be to go fast. Okay. You walk around and feel it. So just squeeze, push forward. Yep, there you go. And we'll set some barrels up. The main objective uh -huh. is I'm going to make it really, really simple, and then we'll go from there. Okay. But the faster you go, the easier it'll be. Okay. You will not think that okay. for a minute or two until if I were trying to make you to go slow and you duck and weave all over the place, uh -huh. it's easier to go faster. Okay. So when you come back here, you're always going to turn right to go to this right barrel first because okay. that's how we're going to kind of send her off. Okay. Now that we've got a trainer in the mix, they, they pick up their leads a whole lot okay. better than just me just cramming them down there. But you're going to line up with the third barrel. And that's going to be how you're going to go. Okay. The only thing you need to have on your brain okay. is that you're going to put her front feet right here. And you're going to treat it like a stop sign. So 
What I mean is when you're driving in your car and you come to a stop sign, you don't like hit the brakes where Alex is. You like drive it until you know that you need to gradually come down to a stop. You're not dashboarding anybody. It's the same thing with this horse. You're going to be asking for some speed and then you got to gradually back off and you'll, your brain will calculate pretty well on its own about how much you need to kind of slow your body down to get to this point and be ready to make a turn. So trust that more than like, try not to pull a whole lot. When you get here, this is a horse that wants to turn bad. If you go to pull into turn, you won't have kneecaps left. So you're going to just get here, push yourself down, push down on the saddle horn and act like I just punched you in the gut. Just rock you back right here. Because you're a beginner barrel racer, here's what you're going to do wrong. 99.9% of the time, you're going to grab your saddle horn. Your feet are going to crawl up your body like this. Your arm's going to go straight and you're going to lean your head down like this and pull down. It's all of us do it. I don't know why. So when you get here to avoid that mistake and you're going to make it. So just, you'll have to sit your shoulders back up, keep your arm in a really soft L and you're going to be a little slid down your rein. If you're not, your horse is going to go around the barrel like this. So you've got to be slid down before you leave there just a little bit. You want to be able to see her eyelashes when you leave on the right side. Same thing for your other two barrels, but you won't be thinking about eyelashes when you're going across here. <laughs> so when you get here, if you had a Sharpie in your hand with the cap off, I would want you to act like you were going to draw a line around the top of the barrel with your marker. Just <laughs> Everybody in the world is going to tell you, don't look here. Okay. You look right here. Okay because this is not lesson camp, you know, <laughs> it's like we are going hard. So you want to look right here. And the reason you want to learn to look there is because you've played sports. And so you're really sharp. And so a few times you're going to make a mistake and you're going to look at it and you're going to hit it and you're going to look at it and you're going to run over it. You're going to look at it. And you're going to come back. And then after a while, you're going to look at it and make a decision. So if you're really, really sharp and fast, you can look right here. If we're not ever planning on going very fast, I would teach you a completely different way. When you get to here, looking up is the, the worst move you can make when you're trying to, when I'm going to throw you in the fire. When I'm giving lessons, I would go, okay, fundamentally, we're going to look up right here. But what that will do is if you're on a horse that's going to go fast, when you get here, you look up and you're over here before you even know what happened. And then you're fighting to get over. So... When you're here, you got your marker in your hand. You're going to just keep your eyes right here. When you feel the leg come back underneath, then you can go straight. I would almost rather you be looking over your shoulder than going straight because what we lack in experience, we can make up for in little spots. We can just be better than the guy that's done it for a decade as long as we make up these steps right here. And if she has to be way out here, she can't change leads for the second barrel until she's at the barrel. If we perfect this right here, she'll step into the left lead right here. So <laughs> when you come across here, you're going to ride as hard as you can with your hips and your calves pushing forward. And you just want her feet to be right here beside the barrel, front feet here. When you get here, then grab your saddle horn. Don't grab it way back there. But again, you're going to kind of judge if you're, you could run her into the wall very easily. You can stop way back there very easily. What you want is to use that stop sign mentality of gradually I'm going to get here. But you got to think about it like Tesla brakes. When you let off the gas on this one, she's just going to stop. So it's not, she's not just going to kind of peter down. You're going to get your Sharpie in your hand. Your hand's already slid down because you, when you changed hands, you slid your hand down. Your Sharpie's in your hand and you're right here. And instead of looking up to see where you want to go, because that's going to put you way off over here, you're going to follow it and keep completing the circle. And then you're going to push forward. Okay. Now, another mistake you're going to make leaving your barrels is you're going to get rocked when you leave and you're going to pull their head like this. 
because your shoulders are going to go back because you don't know what that feels like. So you're going to pull her like this when you leave the first and when you leave the second. Okay. So the thing you're going to do when, when that happens, you're going to drop down and push to her ears and just squeeze on her. Because okay. you're going to, your body is just going to naturally rock back and then you're going to be SOL yeah. and just wallowing around. Okay. So just pull with your saddle horn and point straight. And this hand just keep your eyes locked. If your eyes are in the right spot, you'll almost always be dead on the money every time. Okay. So why don't we trot through okay. and just go down there and make a right turn and just trot through and see if you can, that was a lot of info. So just try to feel it. So you're going to look at the third barrel and you're just going to trot and look where you want her feet to go now. Okay. And you're going to put her feet right where you want her to go. And then think about your saddle horn, follow it all the way around. Same thing that way. Good job. And you see how you're like drunk driving? Yeah. yeah you got to just like put your hands together, slide that left hand down a little bit more. Okay. So see how she's wandering off to the right? Okay. Use your hands like a steering wheel. Okay. Push forward with your hips, like lock it in. Good. That was great. And you see how your hand wants to go straight and drop down yeah. your feet curl up? Yeah. Try to sit up and make that arm go in an L. So you have to be very direct, but make no contact. It's really weird. Okay. Do it again. Same thing. Okay. okay. So you're going to lock your elbows in a little bit more and look where you're supposed to go and just get there really good. And you see how you just kind of went stiff uh -huh. wrap around that barrel, rock it all the way around, get tight, tighter, and don't turn your hand over. You want to move okay. your hand like your Sharpie okay. really, really good. There, really good. Yeah, you're exactly right. Okay, so push forward, go right back, push, push, push. Now grab your saddle horn. That was beautiful, that's great. Push, push, push. Slide that left hand down a little bit. Look at it. Good, push, push, push. Slide that left hand down a little bit. Push, push, push. Good job. So push forward. There you go. Good, good, good. Slide that left hand down a little. Good. Really good. Push forward. Push forward. Now go a little faster to make the rocking quit. There you go. Now you can slow down. Really good. The, it's the first day of like really trying to do it is should feel horrible. Yeah. So just so you know, it should feel. This is a typical life. Beginner thing. This is the thing I tell everybody not to say about like in the yeah. I'm like, you guys think it looks so easy. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, what do you mean? This is so easy. <laughs> now send it across there. Really good. Now push your hand forward. Yeah. Push your hand forward. Now sit down. Yeah. So when you leave the third next time, when you're grabbing your gut when you play this back in your mind, you're yeah. just going to push your hand forward. Okay. Going slow is never going to be easy. Yeah. Ever. I, I'm not calling you a liar. <laughs> I, when you were saying that earlier, that's the way I was like, yeah. It's true. It is so true. But there's only, you know, a handful of people that I think can benefit from that. Yeah. Because you see mentally where you went. Yeah. Of like, I suck. I'm terrible. I'm never yeah. going to get this. I thought this would be easier. Yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. Like your mind went through all these like different places. Yeah. Not a lot of people can handle that. Yeah. Okay. So I think Tracy did absolutely amazing. What was your favorite part? Um, well, all of it. I'm glad that I came and did it. Okay, good. Because I was nervous as all get out. My favorite part was probably the very last run that we okay. made where I like it was actu beautiful. actually like kind of figured it out. There's a lot happening. <laughs> When you're like, there's a lot. So the other Mad thing, respect. thanks man. The other, the other thing is even as good as she feels like she did, I know that in the back of her mind, you can see it in yes. her eyes that she feels like a complete failure. Yes. And yeah. that's why I did the like throw in the fire training because when you have that kind of fire in your belly, um, type personality, you just want, then you'll crave more and more and more and more right. where right. a lot of people, if they do that type of training, they immediately want to quit. So yeah. it's not for everyone right. for sure. I know what your least favorite part was, 
But you tell me what your least favorite part was. My least favorite part was I <laughs> I thought I blew her up at the first barrel. Yes. <laughs> so she like, just oh got God, the timing I wrong. Her. <laughs> she just got the timing a little bit wrong and she thought she ruined her. I think a lot of us do that. You know, the big yeah. the big advice for people at home watching, if things are going wrong and you don't have somebody there with you, back off just a little bit, you know, then go back. If I weren't there with Tracy, the best way to keep your horse in tune is then to like, we were kind of going fast would have been to go back, walk, trot, lope, and then go again. Um, but in this case, you had a lot of supervision and I knew athletically you were able to sit in the middle. So yeah. I don't know. I thought you kicked butt. I mean, it was really fun. It's I think a, you it, did there, really and great. And it, it makes me have so much respect for you guys, for Peyton. Yeah. It's such a learning process. It's something I've literally, the most I've ever done on a horse is a trail ride. Yeah. Like a, I've did, did, never, did, 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 I, I think I've done that thing. once maybe. So this is like a whole, it's just like a, it's so, it's great. So I'm me, glad I did it. Me jumping. I fully was in tears during the lesson. Cause That's it was how so I bad. felt today. And it was, <laughs> it's just like, if you're there and you get frustrated and you're like fully in tears and you just like, Go back to something that feels really good if you don't have somebody right next to you going, no, yeah. no, 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 we got, got this. Yeah. If you don't have that and you're by yourself, go back to something that you know really, really well and then do that thing so that you yeah. don't beat your confidence up. Um, I want to say thank you for letting us film this because you, you didn't have me. to do that. Because but now we'll have it forever. We have it forever. Now we'll have it forever. And then my goal for this, Tracy's goal, what did you say? You just feel I said I would like to be able to be feel confident enough that if everybody's like, oh, we want to go to it, because obviously my daughter Bell races too. And so I'm like, if everybody's like, hey, let's all go together, I can be like, somebody bring me a horse and I'll yeah. entertain. I want to be able to everybody to do it together. So let's come back to the alleyway now that we got everybody here and turn around and just why don't and go straight. Go that way because she's wanting to turn back on you. There you go. And just ease through your mind where you want her to go. Look look up where you want to go confidently. If you feel yourself getting tense, take a big deep breath. And just walk that barrel pattern that you said you visualized so smoothly. She's going to want to turn around fast. So you're going to just breathe through your eyelids. There you go. Okay, now see how she's looking at me? Uh -huh. You want her looking where you're going. So use your right pinky ever so slightly. And then you're not going very fast, so you're not gonna need to steer much. You're just gonna use your brain hole. Uh, only your brain. There it is. Beautiful. And try to loosen your elbows a little bit, loosen your fingers. There you go. And just think with your brain where you want her next step to be. And act like you're drawing, like with what, hot pink in the sand where you want her feet to go. Beautiful job. Stay close to that third, you're in the perfect spot. And see how when the, the just the baby break of concentration from me telling you something, how it stopped your movement? You have to have your brain, and even me talking right now, and you're concentrating on me and not her, how it's breaking the movement. It's very important to keep your brain connected and shut us out a little bit. So you're gonna look at that back gate and just walk toward it with every intention in your mind, straight to it. Big deep breath, avatar. <laughs> really pretty. Just, <laughs> just squeeze with your legs. If all else fails, go a little faster. Your horse is looking at me, so you want her to look a little bit at the barrel. And if anything goes wrong, you're putting your hand down. Beautiful job. Hand down. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. Wow. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Straight to that gate. She's looking left, so you want to pull her a little bit more to the right so she has even pressure in her mouth with the intention that you're gonna lope, okay? So from here, with the intention that you're gonna go ahead and take take off and lope, okay? So go ahead and just intentionally lope. Good, good. Saddle horn. Yeah, Tracy! Get your hands down, there you go. There you go, find your center. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go! There, isn't it so cool? Yeah! To the gate, 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 to the gate. Bell stop. Yay! Yahoo! Victory! That's it. So good.
<laughs> I'm here with the Tracy Jones, mother of Miss P the Cowgirl. From Instagram, I just wanted to say um, congratulations. Looked like a really great run. How did you think that that run went? I mean, best run I've ever made for sure. <laughs> that was like, that great. <laughs> I okay, but for real though, you know, we we have these like hippie vibes here, yeah. and we like really visual. Oh, wow. That was so nice, That's girl. Nice. We like visualize. Okay, so last week, last Friday, yes. was my first time, first lesson ever. And I felt like it went like train wreck. She thought it was great. <laughs> we'll meet in the middle. But. Every <laughs> but every night this week before I went to bed, I visualized in my one, I asked Jesse, like, what? I don't understand. Jesse was like, always just forward, always yes. just forward. So I would lay in bed every night before I go to sleep and just visualize my hands forward. It's like, you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> So if you love this journey, like Sorry, we love this journey, I can't remember how many of us have started right here, but it's really exciting just to watch people. <laughs> Jessie's got her hand up in the back. It is really cool to watch people start and do this for the very first time. And um, just like yeah. do, doing anything hard is really fun. I walked in the office today. And my first thing to say today was like, oh, I don't have anything super terrifying to do today. And now I'm ready to do harder stuff because I've done a lot of hard stuff this week. Yes and been like a super grown up and yeah. like, you know, things and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so now I'm ready to do more hard things. Adult so stuff. anyway, stuff. congratulations. You guys make sure to like, subscribe, turn those notifications on. As always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.